This is Twit. So uh, you may have seen the news uh, right ahead of CES. Uh, Amazon revealed via an interview that there are over 100 million electric-powered devices. Yeah. And then, of course, Google, Google came back it. with, oh, well, you have a billion devices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, th this is not as far apart as it sounds, right? Um, first of all, the, the billion Google devices are mostly phones, which right. may or may not be actively using Google Assistant. Right. Um, whereas the electric devices were specifically purchased by people in the form of a smart speaker, typically, so they could use the service. So I think these things are actually very close, and I think they're going to remain very close. But it's it, it's interesting to me when I think about platforms and the history of platforms. You know, you look at the PC – there was one major winner and then this other minor player. You look at smartphones, there's this one major winner and this other minor player. And when you look at uh, digital assistants or ambient computing, whatever you want to call that, it's not really working out that way. Um, and I, <laughs> there are secondary players like Bixby and Siri that will remain po uh, popular just because they're based on smartphone platforms that are used by hundreds of millions of people. And what we've seen so far, and this is very different from, you could go back to the earliest days of Commodore 64 versus Atari or whatever. Um, it was always very difficult to support uh, different platforms, you know, and it's one of the reasons why you don't see multiple platforms of computers or phones or whatever. Um, but in this case, we're, we are seeing that happen. So I think when it comes to smart devices, whatever it is, smart thermostats, smart door locks, smart lights, you know, whatever it might be, uh, f uh, car support, et cetera, support for online services. Um, it behooves all of these companies to support all the major players. And so <clears throat> regardless of the actual numbers, I, I would just say at this point, it's very clear that Google Assistant and uh, Amazon are both top tier choices. They're always going to be supported. And honestly, even even if you went with Bixby for some insane reason or with uh, Siri for an even slightly less insane reason, um, those things are going to be broadly supported as well. There's no doubt about it. So You didn't mention... Um, can, uh, yeah, so my final little uh, <laughs> coda for this story is that uh, there is one loser in this market, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, and dear. If, um, and it's Cortana, obviously. <laughs> You're um, not talking it, Viv here. This is... No, no. Uh, yeah. No, even Viv is probably fine. Um, no, it's it's my look. Cortana, I think, has a, a role to play within the Microsoft ecosystem, whatever that means, right? So, if you're for somehow or majority of your time is spent on Microsoft device, you know, Windows PCs and devices and so forth, um, Cortana can absolutely. Play, I should say software and services as well. Um, Cortana can play a role there, and actually, for now, it's a fairly unique role, right? You're Google Assistant doesn't have a lot of insight into this world uh, today, you know, and that may change. We've already seen the first steps toward that with integration. I think that continues, expands. I think that's the future. We're going to see a bunch of PCs this year that come with a built right in uh, from the get go. So I think the I think the the die has been set on that one. Unfortunately, for do you Microsoft have one you guys. prefer? Or do you use both uh, Amazon Echo and uh, Google? No, Voice? I use Google Assistant uh, mostly. Yeah. So I have we have Chromecast all over the house. We have Google Homes all over the house. We have a smart display in the kitchen, and it's pretty much all I use. I do have a the the little dot like the previous version of the dot just for testing purposes, um, but I really just use the Google stuff. But that it, but that's not. I don't take that the wrong way. Honestly, <laughs> there are great reasons to go. Are you okay, Mary Jo? <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree with you. I think Google's assistant is um, easily the best and and likely to get better so. and better. Yeah, I think so too. Um, you know, I used for a long time. Oh, I turned her off. I didn't want her to get <laughs> oh, sorry. get involved. Go ahead. <clears throat> yeah. What do you think about music though? Do you stay with Google Music or do you go with Amazon? So within the Google it, ecosystem, yeah. it actually doesn't matter what service you okay. choose because you can just set whatever default you want. So I actually yeah. do happen to use Google Play Music personally, but I use it because I prefer it. Uh, yeah. The rest of my family uses Spotify. And so what is Spotify though, right? I mean, yeah. So yeah. if you go to our, one of the Google homes or to the, um, the smart display, and if you were my wife and, and you say, I want to play whatever playlist, it recognizes her voice and does it over Spotify. Mm. Um, when I come out and I say, I want to listen to music, it's, it does it over Google Play Music. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, and you control yeah. that with the app. So yeah. yep. Yep. Uh, the only thing it doesn't do is iTunes. Obviously, mm. or and I does it do Amazon um, or no? I think Amazon I'm, Unlimited is really limited to the Echo. I'm not sure. I though. actually, I'm not sure that's true. But it may not I, be true. I, yeah. It, if it is true, it won't be true forever. And by the way, for whatever it's worth, not that this is like a big story for our show, but uh, I do think you're going to see iTunes <laughs> slash Apple Music appear everywhere. 
And uh, actually, I would. There's be surprised evidence of that. You know why? At CES, yeah. Samsung right. of all people. It's uh, not just Samsung though. See, it's LG, it's Vizio, yeah. it's Sony. All mm. put iTunes um, and AirPlay two oh, wow. in their yeah, TVs. Yeah. So I actually just wrote about this today. It's not kind of. It's not really a Microsoft topic, but this is an Apple, the company that hates to partner understands that its little insular ecosystem is only going to get it so far when it comes to services. Um, its services business are a tiny percentage of its iPhone revenues. And the only way it can ever hope to compete is you have to have more entry points for it. Um, they want to launch a TV service. It has to be on your TV. It has to be on your Roku. It has to be on your Fire TV. I think those things are all going to happen. Um, and they've finally woken up to this. Um, this company hates to partner, but they've been, you know, obviously they're forced to. So Google, uh, does not support here. Are the, uh, it doesn't. here are the music and audio choices, YouTube music, obviously Google play music, obviously Spotify, yep. Yep. Pandora and Deezer. Yeah. So I bet that changes. Um, well, certainly Apple has become more open to the idea of being on other people's platforms. Apple I mean, is on that's Echo surprising. Now, is it not? Uh, yes, which so means why would you buy a HomePod, right? Well, why, that's a good question in any case. Um, <laughs> but, well, this is so stupid expensive. But, um, you know, they, Google bought, has this thing. You know, for Henry, for Christmas, I really thought long and hard because he uses Apple Music. But he also, yeah. he prefers Spotify, I think. Uh, mm -hmm. And I got him a Google Home Max because... Yeah, because it connects to any Chromecast connected speaker. It sounds just great. as well as it. It's, yeah, it it's sounds. Wonderful. In fact, some say sounds better than the HomePod. I certainly Spotify as as. is fascinating to me because it supports multiple protocols. Everything. So from within yeah. the app, yeah, you can choose from multiple different kinds of speakers. Yeah. I like um, that. Um, Google the list Home of speakers Max. I can connect awesome to for my phone is ludicrous. Yeah. Like so, yeah. when I go up and shave and clean up and stuff, I'll listen to a podcast or an audiobook, yeah. and I have to cast it to the speaker in the bathroom, and the thing. <laughs> populates over time so oftentimes i'll hit a button and then my wife will be like you're playing music in the kitchen again or you know like is it <laughs> like i hit the wrong you know what i mean because it, it gets kind of up can you do multi-speaker yeah. sono style multi-speaker oh yeah that's exactly what we do so oh, i have nice wonderful speakers out in the sunroom in my office in that room and in the kitchen and we have a, a it's a whole house audio thing so you can choose the speakers like we have groups so there's a throat all or whatever that's all of the speakers so you say, you say, okay, sh you know, Googie, um, listen mm -hmm. to um, Christmas, my Christmas carols on Carol's Throughout All. On we Throughout All, the whole, the whole house. That's mm -hmm. nice. Yep. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah. I have to and say, way, I feel a little Chromecast ripped audio. off. Go ahead. <clears throat> Which sorry, I do. I, just, I love uh, Chromecast Audio. Chromecast Audio yeah. <laughs> is $35. Yeah. I bought these studio speakers that are 120 bucks on Amazon, and I've got basically two sets that are not exactly the same, but basically the same. I mean, for the price of like a Sonos speaker, right? <laughs> like I'm kind of, you know, it's astonishing. I have geez, an ungodly number of Sonos speakers, and I've at this point, I, it's I really like time them. to retire them. I think I like them, but well, so here's the good news: um, Google Assistant is or Google or Chromecast is coming to it this year. Google Assistant, and you'll be able to add them good. into a yeah. Okay, so I, I mean, they sound fine. There's no reason to replace them, but I can't talk. Well, they to sound them. great. Yeah, you will. Yeah, you um, will. It's Amazon like an added a Chromecast-like devices. Uh, I would imagine. Look, Sonos <laughs> loves to sell these little gadgets that cost hundreds of dollars, so you can right. like yeah. add something to a thing. I'm sure they're going to have a little bridge that will be like add voice to your existing Sonos Five or whatever. Right. Um, they'll do it. I use it right now. Yeah. I use uh, Echo. I was in the bathroom shaving Co coincidentally. Yep. And I will say to my Echo, uh, Echo play uh well in this case the daily podcast on bathroom sonos and right. it just plays it on the sonos so that's nice mm -hmm. that is nice yep. but it's a little yeah, bit convoluted exactly yeah yeah well i'll often just do it on the phone so if i'm up like a exact scenario i'll do it like i said i'll do it on my phone i'll i'll just cast from the app and right. then the speaker list populates and i choose the one i want and then i miss you know because it's <laughs> so sonos has confirmed that they're the sonos one which i have and the beam speakers will support Google Assistant. Yeah, but if year. you look at this, they're actually also saying they're going to bring it to older devices. Ah, uh, that would be nice. That would be nice. Because the older, the Sonos one is the one that comes with the Amazon Assistant built yeah, in and yeah. voice control. Yeah. Uh -oh. I have that one in my closet, of all things. <laughs> <laughs> I, have, I have way too many devices. I have an also, Echo way too large of a closet if it needs a screen. I have an it Echo is. Spot. Oh, my closet is an Echo Spot and a Sonos one. Wow. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, that's kind of nutty. 
I don't like to be alone with my shoes. Is that weird? <laughs> or apparently know. with your thoughts. <laughs> oh, no. Heaven <laughs> forfend. There's silence anywhere in the room.